Hello, welcome to Adroit ERP software. In this video, I will be taking you through how to use the shoe manufacturing software and how this software can help you to manage your manufacturing. So this is the login. So this is the dashboard. This is the dashboard. This is the user interface of the software. As you can see, the dashboard gives you an overview of your business, of your shoe manufacturing business. As you can see, the total number of shoes you have manufactured, you have manufactured the total number of raw materials available at your disposal. You have the total number of factory workers. You have the total sales orders that you have made within a certain period of time. So as you can see inside the letter, the, the sh it shows the chart of the total number of leather shoes the switch shoes so it comes with the different categories of shoes based on what you have input into the system based on what you have input to the system i must also say there are five features that this system can help you to use to manage your business on my left side as you can see we have the financial resource management the financial resource management handles the accounting aspect of the business which take off the general ledger, it also take off your account receivables, the account payables, the inventories that you, you handle, and also how you generate invoice and receipt for your client or customer that you have within your business. You also have your how to, you can generate your profit and loss, your balance sheet, your trial balance, and a whole lot that may handle the accounting aspect of your business. So we also have the operations. Operations help you to uh, put in data or collect data of the product that you have. As you can see, how you add product or the inventory, the shoe types that you manufacture or the yeah. And you also have the how to enter your workers details, your raw materials that you have, the manufacturing orders that comes in, the work orders, the repair orders, then the sale orders. So all this field or all these things are available for you to have access to input into the system. We have the customer relation management, how you at the know where your workers are located. Also, we have the payroll. If you have uh, multiple workers working under your company, let's say you want you want a software that can manage your employees, how to generate invoice, how to generate a payroll system for them or a payroll stay for them this system or this payroll uh, feature can help you to generate all this report and, 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 and input every details of your employees over here so we also have the my bill of material this is where you enter the material that you use the purchase orders that you use and, and other company that you use in the manufacturing of the shoes okay so i will take you through the operations the operations this is where the system can generate a various report okay so there are various reports as i said that the system can generate for you um this is the manufacturing shoe shoes that you have manufactured their report you have a general report on them, the shoe size the quantity the unit price of that shoe and then and, and the name of the shoes that you you manufacture or you produce within the industry we also have the fact of your workers the report on your workers we have the raw material that you use these are the details the suppliers the quantity you have and the price of that raw material that you have we also have the manufacturing orders that comes in the report on them we also have the repairs that you have made repair orders that people have brought for you to repair for them these are the reports that you can generate by using the system if the sales comes in you also have a report on all the sales that comes in within the within your factory okay so let's see how we can add a product or a shoe so this is how the window looks like if you go to new this is how you add a new product or a shoe within here over here uh, you can even add the picture of that shoe or the the shoe that you have you are, you are, you are manufacturing at a particular time after that you click on add new to be added to the system and the shoe type that you have this is the shoe type if you go to new you can add a new shoe type if you have the workers this is where you add the details of the workers that you have 
you also have the material that you use go to new so all the all this files you go to new if you want to add a new details or a new item to it you go to new then you add everything over there the price the quantity the suppliers the manufacturing orders you have the manufacturing orders after you have queued everything over here the quantity the size the material and the product type after that you click on post it will be posted into the system once you enter every details here to post it into a system then you can generate the report on that later we have the work orders too we have the repair if there are some repairs that you have made within a certain period you can enter every details or uh, queuing and 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 provide it into the system you have the sales order too this is the sales order too okay so let's go out to the uh, financial resource management you, you can use this window as the customer you add the details of your customer to over here the inventory that you have so as you can see this, this is already queuing inventory that you have queued into the system you can as well add your yours to it this is the suppliers all the so all the suppliers who supply materials to you for your production you can add their details over here as you can see you can have all this field available for you to add you after that you click on add new you have the account chart the various account that you have okay so once you manufacture let's say you have to manufacture a shoe you have to receive the shoes you go to the receive inventory you have to receive that shoe over there how much the, the quantity that you are receiving the winning quarter of, of that shoe then you add it after that you process so you are processing this goods as you are receiving to the system so as you can see so if you have multiple warehouse you can transfer a particular the quantity of shoes from one warehouse to a different warehouse so let's say you are transferring 10 as you add from maybe this warehouse to another warehouse you choose the warehouse then after that click on transfer stock so we generate our way bill once we have transferred it it will transfer to that location you can adjust the inventory to whether you are adding or you are you are decreasing or you are increasing that stock you can use the adjustment to adjust that inventory okay so let's see our profit and loss how to generate a profit and loss for a particular period so we are generating a profit and loss for this and let's see how the profit and loss to look like so this is how the profit and loss look like you have your revenue the expenses you have, you have made and the profit after the tax so let's see the trial balance So this is our trial balance as you can see it's balanced okay and we also have the cash expenses if you want to enter your expenses this is where you enter your expenses yeah well, this is the double entry this is where you use it to enter your double entry form okay so let's see how our revenue and our expenses are looking like by going to dashboard this will give you the total revenue that you have now and the expenses that you have made this is already queuing um, data that you have already queued but you as you you are using the system once you enter all your expenses you can see where you are spending more and where which um so they are not spending more okay so one thing also is we can also customize the system to suit your preference if you want us to add certain features to it and you want us to remove certain features we can do a customer system to suit your preference so let's see the payroll this is the payroll how we generate how the payroll system looks like this is how you generate a payroll for a, you select a particular period a year and the period you want to select so it will generate a pay slip for your employees as well okay so as all these things are embedded into a system to help you to manage your business successfully thank you very much i hope this video will be useful